face so this video is very very fitting because i feel so pale right now um i do have a bando on don't worry guys no nudity over here so as you guys know i'm a big fan of primark i love primark so much especially their beauty stuff i love primark beauty so i saw on tiktok a video of a fake tan and i was like okay yeah, i've got to try this tan out so this is primark's own tan i know they sell coco brown but this is their own tan um it's called bronze radiant glow self tan mousse and this is three pounds the same price as saint moritz now i will say you do get a little bit less than here this is 150 mil whereas like saint moritz is 200 mil so i've tested out a fair few brands and i kind of know what i like in a tan basically at the moment i do like one pump of x ultra dark bondi sands mixed with just like any saint moritz i'm excited to try this because i actually have heard quite good reviews i got this one in the shade extra dark if anyone was wondering and yeah let's rip this open so i'm pretty sure they do this tan in light medium dark and extra dark of course i went for the darkest one because that's the only time i really find that i get like a good color payoff so how i'm gonna do this is i'm gonna give this a fair test i'm gonna do it exactly the same as i would when i normally tan as you can see it's dark outside because i like to sleep in my tan it doesn't actually say anywhere on this bottle that says how long to leave it on for luckily i haven't worn fake tan for quite a while so this should go on quite nicely this bloody moisturizer is running out this is just the vaseline um brown one i have enough one downstairs but i need to finish this one up first so elbows is somewhere you know they get a little bit dry there and you don't want to get any, like all stuck in there so i'm gonna do that and then i do my knees around my ankles which i'm gonna do in a second because i do actually have trials from right now because it is absolutely freezing up here i also find around here it likes to stick so just put a little bit of moisturizer on there not too much just a little bit but yeah knuckles is where that tan really likes to stick like really 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 likes to stick so i always just get in there so the mitt i use is actually this one from primark it's just like one of those velvety ones i had one of like those other ones but i, oh, I just i really didn't go on with it only thing i don't like is this little thumb bit so i'll do this arm and then i'll go to do this arm and then it's like i've got to put tan on the other side of the mitt do you know what i mean it's just it's kind of a bit inconvenient because then it's like oh let's take time on both sides i can't I just put it down on one side so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna pump should we do two let's just do two okay one okay one okay we gotta get going we gotta get going there we go okay that was like kind of two small ones so that's what it looks like oh oh okay so now the smell's kind of just blended in with the mitt but i was gonna go for like a conditioner shampoo-y kind of smell then didn't really smell like fake tan so i'm gonna look in my mirror but so you guys can also see I'm going to do the inside of my arms now. Oh, I forgot to moisturise here. Oh, well, it's done now. So that is my arm so far. I will do my hands. I come back to my hands. I do them last. My chest is always, like, the problem where fake tan just does not, like, it goes on well. But then when I shower, it just all comes off. Like, it's actually a problem. going right in on the chest here also i don't actually fake tan my face just because i find that it just really like goes into my pores and like if i do i mix it in with moisturizer but i just i just embrace the line this smells really nice this is like the least fake tan it, honestly it smells like shampoo now i've got to like swap my hand to go on to this one and that means i've got to use a different side i prefer it when tan is dry because i don't feel sticky when i put my clothes on it's not like the aero um foams from bondi sands which i have i used it for the uh, for, for the first time the other day because i didn't want to be too tan before going to a wedding so i didn't want to look like an orange and it's you have to blend it out really 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 quickly also guys i forgot to say what i'm gonna do is it's wednesday today so up until sunday i'm gonna give you like little daily check-ins of like how the tan is after i've had a few showers stuff like that i normally go in with like another layer on my chest so i'm gonna like i said give this like a fair chance but yeah i'm really enjoying the smell of this fake tan i can't tell how dark it is in terms of like when it initially goes on because i have this 
really bright light on me. So what I do on my hands is I normally mix it with a moisturiser or just use a lighter um, shade. Obviously, I don't have a lighter one. I also use this makeup brush, which is green. <laughs> okay, so when I just gave the brush a wash, like loads of like bright green stuff just came off. So I don't know if that was tan or not on there. Bit of moisturiser. And then tiny little bit of tan blend it onto the hand normally bend like a pigeon get in at like the cracky bits this just reminds me of summer so much i get really really nostalgic with the smell because it just has so many like summer memories so my first impressions on this tan um really really liking it so far it smells really really nice honestly it literally just smells like conditioner shampoo it doesn't have that fake tanny scent at all we'll see how it is tomorrow once i've slept in it because normally that's when the fake tan smell really comes on with tans i'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning hopefully i'm looking all bronzed why didn't i film like this the whole time instead of like that now the next day you can see on my arm how the tan is looking it smells well i have just moisturized but it smells a little bit more fake tanny today like i thought it would it's not the worst like it's really really not like that strong at all compared to like some other tans i actually find that bondi tans is a lot more like a fake tanny smell than this Dark is a really really nice color i washed it off at about seven o'clock this morning i tried to use cold water i went as cold as i could without being like oh i also don't wash my hair i'm actually trying to wash my hair once a week now i've heard that you shouldn't wash your hair literally nobody wash either people say so i literally just do it on my armpit i would probably say that i prefer this to saint moritz i honestly we'll, we'll see how it wears it hasn't like stuck to my knuckles in there or anything it's blended all really nicely everywhere like there's no streaks or anything another thing that i just wanted to point out actually is uh, like i said yesterday fake tans never stick to my chest and I think this one's stuck pretty well. So far, so good with this hand. Now, full day of wearing this, day two. So, I did go to the gym, and I normally, I always get these when I wear fake tan. Like, it doesn't matter what fake tan it is. It's just for my sports bra and where I've been, like, sweating. It's looking good on the hand. I don't think it's looking bad at all. Belly is a really, really nice colour. Like I said, I didn't really notice a big difference in my chest to my belly. I don't know if you guys, how it's going to show up on camera. A little close up just so you guys can like kind of see how it's holding up. Everywhere. Now, I didn't notice a difference with this odd personally when I used the Aero Bondi Sands one. But I had heard that, you know how it kind of enhances the smell of BO and it kind of makes you sweat more under your armpits or fake tan. I honestly did not notice a difference between like aero sand like aero bondi sand saint moritz okay i think the saint moritz is probably a bit worse but this one isn't actually that bad honestly i don't really notice the difference between the aero one and this maybe a tiny little bit more of this one but yeah i'm quite impressed with this tan so far it's really getting me excited for summer being fake tanned like this so far so good okay guys so this is my final day updating you guys on this tan i'm so sorry i did not update you guys yesterday it's because i was literally just lounging around in my pajamas all day i just completely 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 forgot but to be honest there wasn't really too much to update you guys on at all but today yeah i think this is probably the last day that i'm gonna be that it's gonna look okay and i'm gonna be able to get away but i reckon by tomorrow this is gonna be going quite patchy so i always find that my chest goes patchy as the quickest oh my god my nails just is ignore me my chest it's gone a little bit you know it's 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 looked better but saying that it's not it's not like horrendous i don't think at all like i don't look like tiger bread or anything like that my belly i think it looks fine um hasn't gone patchy at all my hands as you can see like here definitely like that, that needs to be scrubbed but i think that was just where my hands weren't the best they've ever been anyway so i think that's kind of down to that and because i you know got, i had that problem with my brush and then I had to wet it and clean it blah 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 but yeah apart from that honestly i love this tan and i think this is going to remind you a new tan that i use i really really like the color the thing that i liked is i actually kind of stuck to my chest for the three pounds I really really like this i prefer it to a saint marie's tan like 100 percent. i'm impressed by this tan and i think this is going to be my go-to this summer like i said i think there's four different shades so obviously depending on how 
you like your tan it lived up to hype on tiktok i was a bit skeptical because sometimes on tiktok people say stuff is good when it's not primark is just killing it all i'm gonna say is go and buy this tan try it for yourself if you've used this tan let me know what you thought of it in the comments but yeah that is it for my review on primark's three pound fake tan i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you were thinking of buying this fake tan i hope this has helped with your decision thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you very soon in my next video